everybody loves absorbing three red green let's fine tune this deck list and this donation deck from sean and see if we can't get red green stompy to work in vintage Welcome back, Vintage Gamers, to a Wednesday night donation deck list from Sean. Uh, Sean has been brewing in a space that I also did some amount of brewing in in the past, uh, which is Red Green Absorbent 3, almost. Uh, not not to the extent uh, that Absorbent 3 is a Brian Kelly kind of gamer, where you want all the one-ofs that do certain things but have no way to find them. Uh, this is a little bit more streamlined and a little bit more, in my opinion, using the most powerful cards that... The colors have to offer well some of the cards are are the most powerful cards that <laughs> the colors have to author uh in general i think the strongest cards in this deck and this archetype are renin six collector oof uh and minsk and boo uh those are the cards that are i think worthwhile and give you a reason to play this kind of deck list the rest of the cards are kind of filler to help you with the problems that arise when you play those kind of cards so um I, our most powerful thing that we're doing is locking our opponent's artifacts with collector roof and then locking their opponent's lands with red and six wasteland uh and then killing them as fast as possible with this uh hamster uh we have some support we have magus of the moon which i'm not I'm not 100 percent sure of how i feel about magus of the moon uh in our wasteland lock deck but it kind of gives you some more redundancy in that aspect. So we do have like five Magus effects with it, with an extra Blood Moon here. And we have five Collector Oof Null Rod effects with an extra Null Rod here. Um, Scavenging Ooze is more of a nod to Lurus than anything else. Just being having a, a permanent in play that uh, takes away loops is a powerful. I really like Inti in these kind of decks as it gives you a way to translate bad cards into good cards. If you have like extra Simeon Spirit Guides, you can turn them into cards. Uh, in a similar way that we've used um, Fable of the Mirror Breaker in the past, uh, Inti might be a little bit more castable, a little bit more aggro-oriented, um, and plays a little nicer into things like Collector Roof, where um, your goblin was making you treasures that you couldn't use. Uh, we have some free spells to try to get us to the point in the game where we're winning with Force of Vigor, Endurance, Fury... Um, we have some amount of red blasts, interaction, mental misstep, and of course, uh, destroy target artifact and target enchantment, or artifact or enchantment, with the classic modular spell, Hold Breach. Um, I've put some nice ones in the sideboard, including a Seeds of Innocence. If I'm going to be playing all these forests, I might as well cast some Seeds of Innocence. This is like one of my favorite vintage-only cards, basically, that just, uh, just feels real good when you resolve a Seeds of Innocence against a Shops player. Um, anything else? Anything else interesting? You should have a bunch of like anti artifact, anti graveyard hate in the sideboard. Um, another creature removal spell. Basically, nothing for combo. Hopefully, this is enough to keep combo down. We have some anti mono white here. That's pretty exciting. Um, anything else? Anything else? No, I think this is cool. It's a cool little deck list submitted by Sean. Uh, thanks for the support. If you want to see your deck list played on this channel, make sure to check out the Patreon link in the description below where you can find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list. Let's battle. Have you ever wanted to win your own real Black Lotus? The legendary NYSE Vintage Tournament returns this June 22nd on Long Island in New York. 15 proxy high stakes paper vintage action with eight whole pieces of unlimited power as prizes. You are not going to want to miss it. Check out more information in the description below. I hope to see you there. Let's battle. All right. Battling. Round one. Let's just start jamming. We got people to beat up. Gruel to stomp on. Um... Looks like my opponent is revealing a cat, which I, I think should be a pretty feasible matchup um we're kind of doing a bit of a more powerful thing collector roof plus magus plus wastelands are all very good against the deck this should be interesting uh this hand has a turn one magus is that actually good oh, i don't know let's find out
technically has the green mana to cast a vigor hard cast after too, which is kind of nice. Do we have a Magus? We have a Magus and a Resolved Magus. Okay. What you got for us, Trogdor? Mox, Lorien revealed, Cycle for an Island. Uh oh and a Vault. So some kind of... Oh, we're just going to get PO comboed and die. Ah, we turned off the Tolarian Academy. Small victories. Small victories. I mean, if they PO for three, we're just dead, right? Ah. Like, it looks like they have it. They might just go on our turn to play around Vigor. Um, oh, just Ponder. Okay, just Ponder is good. Just Ponder is not Tink. I guess it can't be really Tinker, but it's not. It's not Po. So I would like to a uh, find a Collector Roof. Probably is my best draw. Um, another green card is an okay draw. A strip mine doesn't really do anything, so I think I'm gonna just play this out and attack. Yeah, dress down does not work on Magus of the Moon. This is a true statement. He did not cycle for a basic island, upkeep black mana with their mox opal. Maybe we just get Volt Keyed. I mean, if I were them, I would just Vampiric for a PO, right? And just PO. Oh, Island Cycle, their Lorien revealed. Yeah, uh huh. For a basic island. And then PO. Oh, just Ancestral? Isn't PO just so much better? Maybe they're not on PO. They have to be on PO, right? They're on Mox Opal. I don't really understand. All right, so here I can strip. I can't strip mine because I have a freaking Magus of the Moon. I was going to say strip mine their island, but clearly can't do that. Um, do I play around Negation or do I play around Flusterstorm? Probably just try to hit this. Play around PO2, of course. All right. Well, my opponent is down to one mountain, one island, and one turned off of Opal. So that's pretty good. I feel like we've gotten pretty lucky to not be dead so far. I can't imagine Ancestral was the correct play if they had P.O.s in their deck, which I can't imagine they didn't have P.O.s in their deck. They have two basic islands. They clearly have P.O.s in their deck. Uh, just going to get Vault Keyed, maybe? Well... I, I just don't... What did this vamp get? It must have got Ancestral, right? Because I guess the Ponder could have gotten Ancestral. Yeah, we just got Vulkied. Sick. Absolute, absolutely great. Fantastic. Maybe they got Volky. <laughs> I didn't draw the Collect Roof as I needed to. and my After I figured my opponent's two artifacts, they then played two artifacts that killed me. So that was great. Big fan. All right. Well, no rods are great here. Uh, so are Vigors. And Fury is not very good. And Endurance is probably okay, but not amazing. I mean, this matchup looks great, if I had to guess. This matchup looks, like, super good. <laughs> we have, like, six no rods, red elemental blasts. We just kind of drew a bunch of lands and died, which you also can do when you play... Red green. Mm, maybe only one ooze. My opponent played untap key, untap time ball. <laughs> Very good. 
Ah, yes. Five land spirit guide force of vigor. All right, let's try again. This one is turn one inti, turn two boo. Doesn't have any, um, doesn't have any, uh, anti combo cards, but this thing cycles, I guess. What are you, what are you talking about doing the more powerful thing? What are you, what are you talking about? <laughs> This is not breach. My opponent is on PO with two basic islands. You can't you can't really play breach with two basic islands. I said I was doing the more powerful thing. Doesn't sound right. My opponent has cast every restricted card in Magic, so... It didn't matter that they went down a card to Force of Will, down a card to Black Lotus Demonic Ancestral, I guess. I'm pretty sure I was saying how, like, our cards lined up good against our opponent. I don't know, I don't know what you're talking about more powerful. I don't know, I don't know where that's coming from. If that's what I said, then I didn't mean it, so... Why force Inti just to show us the business? I mean, if we don't die, we they're almost dead, or we draw a million cards, so. Inti ends the game so fast. It's great. Big fan. Not Inti. Boo. Sorry. Someone chat said Inti. I don't know what chat's on about. Chat is chat is unhappy tonight. Apparently, I don't really know. What's, I don't really know what's happening. Bigger's a great draw. Um, I end the game in another attack, or I can like draw a million cards that counter their deck. They don't have removal. That. I guess removal also is good against my minus, right? So. Or no. Sacrifice isn't part of the cost, right? Not sure. Blue. Dress down. Oh, it is part of the cost? I don't think it is. Whatever. This hamster has no text. Well, I guess it has go for the eyes, boo. But it has no other text. Just get rid of their artifacts. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Run it back. Well, I kind of want to see what, what what they were talking about. What, what, what is what was chat on about? Oh, I think we're already in game three. Actually, never mind. Yeah, yeah, I mean, like, Boo is really strong magic card. This card ends the game so fast. And when it doesn't end the game, it, like, kills their best creature and draws you four cards. It's nuts. Oh, not this hand. This is not the hand we want. 
I mean, it's a keep, but. We, like, don't have... If one of these was a spirit guide, I would feel so much better about this hand. Whoop! Saga Gaming. Whoop! Saga Gaming. Sorry, friend. Nice magic card. Nice saga. <laughs> Very powerful. Oops. Sorry. Can't get that back. Oh, fucking hell. This is the third game. <laughs> Ow. God damn it. Uh, we were up cards, and then we weren't. We're gonna get Volkied. Dress down Volky, you. Yeah, strip mine, wasteland, anything. Thank you. God bless. All right, now next turn we'll draw the uh, the spirit guide so that we can play a boo and, and clock them. Island cycling. Basic island. Another boo. Not ideal, I would say. Not ideal. I have a feeling we're just going to get Vulkied in this game. My opponent's going to end step a dress down, then play a key and kill us. I just, I just, I'm just feeling it. I'm feeling it. That seems like what's going to happen. Oh, <laughs> uh, new plan. New, new plan. That, does, that, that one does not get dressed down. Sweet. All right. All right. Not when they draw Black Lotus and play Alluris and then they dress down and loop you. Come on now. You've seen my opponent. You know what they can do. Ha <laughs> ha! Suck it, P.O. Is this what it feels like to be on the other side? I feel so good about winning this match after we got fucking ancestral in every game. Like, my god. <laughs> Nothing against my opponent, but I just I just felt like we needed that in my you know? It just it seemed like something I needed. <laughs> All right, we figured out what I, what I said last round, and I said I was doing a more powerful thing in regards to my opponent probably being on Luris Saga control, not on PO. Everything makes sense now. Does this hand vibe in the abstract on the draw versus someone named Innistrad Rev Service? Somehow, I don't feel like it does. But what if they play a Urza Saga and a Mox and we kill both of them? Wouldn't that be fun? All right, I'm keeping it on the back of the possibility of maybe drawing, maybe them playing Urza Saga and maybe us killing both of their things. Shops Gaming? Damn it, play a Saga. Patchwork Automaton. That's a really hard card to beat. That card is so annoying. Ward 2 is infinite amounts of ward. Like, Ward 2 is so much ward. How do we even play this out? I feel like we just, like, get basic forest and... 2 is, two is, two is basically Shroud. In fact, it's better than Shroud, because if you force a Vigor, it, and something else, it counters the whole spell. Alright, I think I'm gonna go fetch 
a basic forest and play a scavenging ooze off of the green one. I ah, just probably doesn't matter. I really want them to play like Saga and something to blow up that's an artifact so I can pull breach them. Needle. All right. Well, you have successfully needled my scavenging ooze. I still don't know how we're beating a patchwork automaton. I guess I could just get up to four mana. <laughs> All right. They have five. Is it five? Is it Golos? Null Rod. I don't care about that one either. They just turned off their own soul ring. And, and a sphere? And a sphere. Okay. It's a 4 4 patch over Tomaton. It's a big boy. A braid. All right, I should have all oral artifact removal. I just need to hope I hit, like, this thing gets countered too, right? Yeah. I just need to hope I don't get, like, wastelanded off the top, I guess. Uh, I'm going to hold the whole breach for a possible saga, and then maybe we end step a braid. I don't know. Well, they don't have any more cards in hand, so currently we're losing the race. I guess we could end step besage you something, actually. It's probably the best. Besaging sphere might just be the best play. They drew something they can cast. Okay, now we're winning the race. Nettle Sis, beautiful. We can destroy that. Everyone will be happy. Okay, so what do we want to kill? I think we just we just besage you the sphere. No basic. Ren and six. Oh, we have Ren and six besage you. <laughs> Very fun. Um. Okay, so let's. Hmm. I want to attack because at some point they have to block. So I think I like a uh, braid the nettle cyst and maybe we still simian spirit guide out a uh, run and six and get back up a seju destroy this nettle cyst attack with my bear Like, they'll have to attack the Renin Six to make sure that we don't return more Besajus, and then they'll have to block at some point, so. Like, if we have another land in our hand, we can Besaju this Patchwork next turn as well. They also can't play any more spells, because they're at six life, so. The, the double Ancient Tomb Null Rod has been a little rough for my opponent, and I've also had a million artifact removal. <laughs> <laughs> because I'm playing Absorbent 3 style. <laughs> Based and good. Mishra hates him. <laughs> Defeat Mishra with this one trick. Forests. So they have to choose if they want to attack me, attack Ren and Six, or hold back and block. Attacking me. Okay. So I can bring back Foothills and kill their patchwork. Do they know that? Do they know that? Chad, do you think they know? Oh, well, now I can actually just bring back Besage you. So. I will pay the ward cost. And now we're and now we have a removal spell that we can buy back from our yard every turn. So uh they've lost the game. They did have to attack the run and six. We would have won anyways, but they definitely had to attack the run and six. <laughs> with with the fetch line in the yard, it was, you know, you're deterministically going to lose if you don't do that. Whereas I have to hit a land drop to kill the patchwork if I uh if you kill the Renaissance. 
All right. Got game one. We've got a Seeds of Innocence to bring in. We've got two Force of Vigors and a Fury to bring in. Uh, we can take out the Null Rod. We can take out the Red Elemental Blasts and the Mental Misstep. And then... What does this do? One damage. One damage. No, I don't think we want that. Don't think we want that. Uh, all these cards are kind of good. Um, what is the worst card? I guess an Endurance is the worst card. I don't know. It's, it's kind of got a big butt, doesn't it? Scooze is probably better, though. Let's go with that. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Vigor, Vigor, Strip Mine, Ren and Six. Okay, okay, okay. I accept. I didn't get to cast Hole Breach, did I? That's kind of sad, isn't it? Black Lotus. Don't, don't three ball me. Don't, don't three ball me. I don't need that in my life. White, white, white. Sphere. Okay. And Workshop? And Nettlesis. All right. Well, the good news is I have Force of Vigor, so your deck is uh, rendered completely useless. Congratulations. Thanks for playing. I have another Force of Vigor. Incredible. Do I feel bad? Not really, because I'm usually the one getting Force of Vigor. <laughs> uh. Sorry, friend. You can concede at any moment. Don't worry. I don't actually care about a sphere that much. So I'll just hit both of these. <laughs> Yo, what up, Raiders? Welcome to Vintage, where we're casting Force of Vigor against our opponent who's only casting artifacts. It's a great time. Ooh, nice, nice name. That that name would work really, really well if I didn't have more force. <laughs> uh, I should feel bad now, right? At some point, I should feel bad. Probably not. I'll take two for fun. still have more like i still have more i'm gonna get my strip mine loop <laughs> ah sorry opponent hope you didn't want to play magic <laughs> red green red green red green two wastelands <laughs> uh, just gonna get a foothills so I can build up towards hard casting force of vigor. <laughs> I'm having a great time. <laughs> I'm casting force of vigor. Opponents are playing sagas and losing. It's just perfect. It's just perfect gaming. All my force of vigors have resolved, you know. <laughs> It's just great. Let's go fetch a bunch of basics. Uh, I don't think we want to play a Blood Moon. I guess we can... Uh, I guess we just start by strip mining them a little now. Oh, they don't. They don't care. No, we are the. We are unironically the good guys for sure. You tried to enter the city at rush hour. I saw, I saw a chonker. Oh, my opponent left. 
Come back, opponent. All right. Round two. No, round three. I can't believe we've already won twice. Uh, sure. Seems fine. Thanks. Fine. Ugh. Why? Why? Why must they have Black Lotus? We haven't drawn Black Lotus. We have one of those in our deck. I think. We do. Oh. Oh, we're not beating that. <laughs> oh, we are not beating that. Mm-hmm. Turn one, Oko. I guess, theoretically, if my opponent doesn't have a force, and we were to draw a another fast mana, we could play turn one, Boo. Oko, Oko probably just destroy. I mean, we have two red elemental blasts, I guess. I mean, you're like, you can't assume that this boo resolves, right? Like, if this boo is the first spell we play in the game, then it just, we just, it gets forced and we lose, right? I think we should draw Black Lotus. That just seems fair. And a Mox? What is it like to play Bug? Bug is the craziest deck. You just have a two... You, you have four Moxes slash Lotus in your deck, and you just draw two of them in every opening hand. It's incredible. Ugh. Uh, all right. I guess we just hold open Strip Mine so that we don't get Wastelanded, and then we force a Vigor on once they activate their Oko. Goodbye, Hullbreach. We got Spell Pierce. My god, thank you. Thankfully, our, our boo did not get spell pierce, or I would be so sad. Can you imagine? All right, chat. Hopefully, we don't get dazed or forced or anything. Didn't want to pay to. No, not remotely. I don't care about the force of vigor at all. It was a bait. I have a boot. Multiple boos, apparently. Resolve, 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 resolve. Yes, yes, nice spell pierce. Nice spell pierce. I guess we can't attack, right? Or we lose our boo. So if they just like have a, I mean, they didn't have a black mana, right? So there's like very low chance it gets removed. All right, so does Boo heads up beat an Oko that's been in play for a turn and has another thing? Okay, that's a black mana. That's the new question. It does? Why? I don't under I don't I'm not seeing it currently. I haven't I can't say I've played that much vintage cube, so I don't know for sure. But like does this is a winning board? It doesn't look like a winning board. Are we attacking Boo? No. I wish I could fling in my upkeep. So how are we winning? Yeah, I, I know. I know Boo's the hamster. It's all Boo. It's all Boo to me. Um... I kind of want to strip mine and play an oof, but like, what am I doing with this boo? Am I plusing to seven, going face? Am I plusing to seven, going oko? Am I plusing, am I, am I throwing the boo at a death rate shaman and strip mining my opponent? And drawing four cards? 
and then maybe playing a new one. Am I, am I, am I, hmm, I don't know. I have no idea. Well, we at 17, so if we attack face, they go to 12, we go to 10, or they kill the boo and we go to, I feel like we don't win a race, race. But I also feel like we can't throw at the death, I mean, I, I want to throw at the death right shaman and strip mine them. Because then they're on just Oko, and we have more cards, theoretically. But then they have, like, a lot of creatures in play. I don't know. Sack my boo. Throw at the Deathray Shaman. Oh. I see. Well then. I wasteland them. I play a, a pitched cast. Mm. I'm trying to think of what's the best way to play around a forest, but it might just still be hard cast fury. I definitely wasteland. If they have a force, I lose my boo, and I lose kind of my ability to play a new boo. But I guess, like, what am I doing? If I, if I, if I pitch cast off of a spirit guide and they force it, I mean, my blockers aren't even good. The one fury. Nice. Uh, not the Sapphire, because you don't want to fill up for Treasure Cruise. And we can actually put one on the Oko for fun. All right. So the Oko can turn my Fury into not a double striker, but then we're still trading and blocking. And they, don't, they didn't have any lands before. All they had was a Deathrite Shaman, and they Brainstorm block themselves. So they top deck a land, but it's not like a black land. I guess a Fatal Push doesn't even get this anyways. And we still have a Strip Mine. And we have a new Hamster coming. Uh, I can't remember what their mana situation like. Oh, wait, they can do that. Okay, I guess they can do that. Do we care? Like we don't actually care, right? Because Boo is bigger than a Fury. I didn't really see that line coming, but I don't think that line is good. <laughs> no, 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 no. I mean, I guess they could have a, a spell pierce now or something. I can pay for a daze. I guess I just strip mine them. So I can just plus strip mine them. All right, I'm just going to kill this thing. <laughs> Hit the better planeswalker. I mean, we drew really well. I must say, we 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 did we did in fact draw well. So, all right. So this could deal five damage to a planeswalker. What does Oko take up to? Five, or is it six? Oko thief of crowns. Picks up to six? That's so broken. <laughs> uh, all right. Okay. All right. I want a fury. And then I... Sp this thing doesn't kill anything else, right? So it's probably not very good. Uh, But we have all these vigors we need to take out, right? Like, we have a vigor and null rod 
Oh god, we have no car. We, we do not have enough cards to bring in for the bug matchup. <laughs> we we don't have anywhere close to enough cards to bring in for the bug matchup. What are we gonna bring in? I guess we like have to bring this in, right? This doesn't kill anything though. Leyline? I guess. I mean, Vigor was good there. It got countered, and they... <laughs> uh, I don't know. I, I mean, we're definitely boarding out Null Rod for Fury, but, like, what else are we doing? Nothing else is good here. Uh, I guess Claim is a little more versatile than Force of Vigor, but... I guess it's his Leovold. Alright, I'm going to bring in the two barrages, even though I don't think they kill anything, so... Just plane blockers. <laughs> maybe a hole breacher, maybe a... Uh... Ah, oh, we have... It pitches the Fury, it pitches the Fury. Good God. Are we allowed to keep this? Ah, I'm going to keep it. I'm here to play magic. I have a black lotus hand. I have to keep it, right? What the? What the? This is two games in a row. Bug has the black lotus every single draw. It's incredible. Collector roof. Oh, Sylvan library. Well, that's really good. That's that's wild. That's that's very very good. That's so good here. Yeah, but they're bug. It's different. Yeah, maybe we were supposed to keep in the Force of Vigors, huh? Oh, we <laughs> I forgot about the whole breach. <laughs> yeah, whatever, it's fine. Petchland? Boo. Oh, um... I'm gonna play two drops. Wait, no, I I, I don't have a land. <laughs> I kind of need the Indian play, right? This boo is never resolving. I just don't think our chances are very high if we jam into oof, which was the only thing we can do because we can't jam into Ren. Oh, thank. Negation! How disgusting is that? They didn't even negate the Lotus. Disrespect. Disrespect, I tell you. Cheers, chat. Oh. Soju, baby. If I had hit my land drop, there's, like, no chance I would have gone for it. But I didn't have a land drop. So my, my oof was a lot worse, right? They didn't hit a land. They paid 8 life and didn't hit a land. Damn. 
damn it, they can eat my foothills. Uh, I wish this was anything other than what this is. If this was a nature's claim, it would be so much better. <laughs> uh, Alright, well, at least we can fetch a basic. I don't want to fury this death rate shaman, but I guess they did miss their land drop. Yeah, I guess it's fine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just think this is, like, not that good of a play, and we should be saving our fury for, like, higher value situations. Like, I'm gonna get spell pierced anyways. I don't know. This is, like, the highest upside play for sure, but I just don't... I just think this is bad. I feel like playing an Inti is better. Oh, it resolves? Resolving is very good for us. <laughs> Resolving is quite good for us. I, what did they buy from the... I guess they bought c cards from their library because they just, like, had a bunch of dead cards. No fetch lands, nothing. Wasteland. Okay. Time walk. We have eight life left. Loam with no targets based. Good thing I have like eight basics in this deck. Oh, I can play both my things this turn. Hype. Did you eat? No. Yes. Yes, no, kind of a little. I know perfectly what happened now. Inti, inti, inti. Oh, I guess I don't want this to get forced, so maybe I should have led with the oof. But they're never going to force the oof anyways, so. I mean, this is lethal in, like, very soon. Opponent just quit while I was talking, huh? <laughs> uh, it turns out two twos attack and kill our opponent. It's hot. No. Oh. Okay. Sorry, chat. Uh, all right. I guess we're three and zero. All right, chat. I'm here, full focus. Oh, we got a raid. I didn't even see that. Night, welcome, 90s MTG. We are playing Vintage tonight, and we are playing Red Green Stompy, and we are currently crushing all of our opponents. So far, we've beaten PO and Shops and um, Bug. So, pretty good spread so far. We've got another Luris opponent here who is 3 and 0. Our hand consists of multiple Wastelands, Black Lotus, Null Rod, Ooze, which I think this is good for against Luris. Should be good against all versions of Luris. Milrod has, like, um, pretty good efficiency against... Can, it's, like, very, very good against... It's probably the best single best card against Breach and PO. And Breach PO. Uh, and it's, like, okay against blue-black and blue-white control. Because they looped uh, with Bobble so much. Another Black Lotus opener from our opponents. Like, our opponents have had really strong draws, too. Oh. Let's see. I guess that happens. 
Is there any reason for us to float a green mana? No. If it was a red mana, it'd be yes. No, there's just there's no reason. Like nothing we can't do anything with a green mana, right? There's just no point. We have no we have no spells. I guess we could theoretically have second Elvish Spirit Guide but Sage you, but So our Black Lotus hand goes away. We got another Null Rod hand though. And they got a fresh keep basically with an underground sea already in play. And now they get to look at our top card. Our opening, our hand here is not bad, so. And they have a ruby. Definitely want my other hand back, but this hand's totally fine as well. Fortunately, Ruby not at its strongest in our deck. Oh, and Ancestral? Oh, and Bowmasters. Sure. That card I don't care about, especially with Twister already being used. They saw a Collector Oof. Okay. Well, I'm going to jam a Collector Oof. Because they've seen it. Turns off both of our rubies. I can't be wastelanded, which is good. Brainstorm, sure. This looks tough. Black Lotus Twister is a nice little start. Not like the strongest start or anything. It's not like they had multiple mocks and they, all they got was the one C and then a, you know, I drew a pretty good hand. It could have been a lot worse, obviously. Wasteland, we're covered. And they can't even bluff attack here. So, and they didn't fetch away with Brainstorm. Unless they have a uh, Lorien revealed, obviously. Another basic. Interesting. I'm just going to play a, another oof. I think wasting here is a good way to lose the game. I think if you waste C here, you're just opening yourself up to dying to Saga for no reason. Wesley, Wesley, you're, you're wrong. They, <laughs> what are you talking about? They play Dress Down. They play, like, Saga. Like, they can beat a Collector Roof. There's no problem. I wish I lived in your world. So it looks like blue-black control, and they've already used their Twister combo. So that's like the best play they had in their whole deck. Um, and they would have to have like Dress Down Loop plus Vault Key. So realistically, we are in a pretty decent spot, but opponent has drawn a lot of cards. They were able to shuffle their Brainstorm with the Lorien revealed. They did choose to get an Underground Sea over a... God, they're going to get Demonic for Ancestral as well. Seems good. Um, man, I don't even want to endurance their cards and back into their deck either because they're all good cards. Like, this is almost assuredly getting ancestral, right? I guess they theoretically they could ancestral target me, but that doesn't kill enough of the, both oofs, so just ancestral target them. I assume. I guess they could get the one fatal push. I think having both oofs in play is better. 
just because of board presence. Yeah, I mean, I don't think resolving the Norod is going to stop my opponent from doing anything. Like, now, it, it will just stop them from doing things later. But, like, my opponent's not going to win the game on the next turn. It's going to win the game somewhere 10, 10 turns down the line, right? This looks really bad for us, though. Simeon Spirit Guide. So I could jam a boo while they don't have Spell Pierce up, but I'm just going to get negated. And then I'm going to get Wastelanded on my Wasteland. Seems really bad. I think we're better off just casting this Null Rod and passing back. If they hadn't cast Ancestral there, we could have at least considered it, but... Alright, now that we have a Null Rod in play, my opponent has a lot less ways to just one-shot us, but they can still just out-blue card us, so... Attacking seems bad. Don't think that benefits us in any way. Like, trading a Bowmaster for an Oof is not a positive play here. Especially because they're the Luris deck. Like, with Twister in the yard already, then we just don't really care. Not that our blocks are very good if we, like, block and they play another Bowmaster. It's not, like, great for us. So maybe there's, like, some upside to attacking in that sense. Because our attacks are, because our blocks are shit, too. They're not even going to be an attack here. In T. I just think it doesn't make sense to cast this boo. I don't think it makes sense to, like, tap this wasteland either. We kind of need to hold this wasteland in our hand for a possible saga. So. Now I will definitely attack if I get to go to attacks with Inti. That's, that is definitely going to happen. Our attack is a lot stronger now that we've drawn Inti, which makes things a lot better as well. So they probably force this, I would think. It's, like, really good on the current board. Inti is great. This is just awesome card. Okay, resolved. All right, well, then I'm definitely attacking, and we're going to discard the... What are we going to discard? Just the spirit guide, I guess? Or they have a removal? They have another Bowmaster. I see. They have two Bowmasters killing Inti. Is that what's happening? Oh, they're just like threatening. No, they have two Bowmasters killing Inti. I see. I see. Well... Guess that's good. Four cards in hand. I mean, it looks like we're losing by a lot. My opponent did resolve Ancestral, so I guess that's probably to be expected, but... What is this? Okay, Luris to hand, holding open to island. Yeah, but Wessel, Wessel also lives in a dream world where Bug is good, and we beat Bug with this deck, so I don't know. <laughs> Some players the don't live in reality. Mental misstep. That's a little late, don't you think? We're so dead. Like, we just don't have plays anymore. They didn't attack? They should definitely have attacked. All right, well, I, I'm going to jam. I, I feel like the time is running out here, and we don't really have choices anymore, so. We at least have coverage of Spell Pierce. Now they have to force the boo. 
force pitching force. All right. I mean, they have Lurus plus two, and they can cast it, and they can't draw a card every turn because we have triple Null Rod, but they can just, like, loop Bowmasters, so they have free attacks every turn. Just can't really do much. They should probably Wasteland my my uh, Wasteland. That makes them able to play a, a Saga as well. We're basically just dead. Our opponent just played better cards than us, and we lost. They can't, uh, unless they have another black mana source, they can't attack with the Bowmasters this turn, but. I mean, they would have to have another black source. I don't think they have it. Do I think my first hand would have beat this? It would have been more likely. But, I don't know. Opponent just, like, had a very good draw, right? So, it's tough. They did have another Black Source, but not without having to pay. So they're just going to play Luris this turn, return a Bobble, and Wasteland my Wasteland. Uh, and then we're just basically dead on board. It's just going to take a little while. Uh, we could draw a Blood Moon, but we can't cast it. Like If we had a Blood Moon here, we actually would be able to hold a, hold against this board. We, sh we just can't cast this Endurance because I fetched two basics. And... Keep drawing spirit guides of the red variety. Not that this endurance is like that good. Like I don't want to give them the cards back. They've already cast all their good cards, so like enduring those cards back is bad. I am not gonna play to time on my <laughs> my my weekly stream. Sorry. Yeah, like these block any no there are no blocks here that are good for me. So what I have to hope for is they have nothing left in hand. I draw a Magus this turn and turn off their black sources. I think that's the last hope we have here. Scooze your daddy. Well, I don't have enough green sources. If I had enough green sources, this actually is really good. I just don't know if it'll come online in time because then I can actually make blocks. And then eat the uh, the Bowmasters in combat. How much am I taking? I'm taking another six. We might make it. Definitely going to take one more hit here. Another Wasteland. Ah, Hardcast Loran. Yep. Uh, probe. Yeah. I think we're too late. What hills is two eats, but it costs a life. All right, well, let's see what they do here. I have stops in all my steps, so. Should be fine. Sage or Saga. Yeah, that makes sense. We don't have an answer to Saga anymore because of the Wasteland play. Now they could just wait on the Saga and we have to draw Wasteland off the top. Oh, they're making the attack. I don't really see the value in this. Unless they have the fourth Bowmaster. Oh, I guess I can't eat all the Bowmasters. So I can block two of the Bowmasters and take four and then eat, fetch, eat. Sure. I guess I could block three and then cast Endurance. Oh, no, I couldn't cast Endurance. Yeah, I could cast Endurance. Yeah, if they have the fourth Bowmaster, I'll die. That's fine, I think. Okay, they have the fourth Bowmaster and I die. I mean, I, I think I have to... I think this play is the one that gives me the highest chance of winning. Obviously, it dies to the fourth Bowmaster, but they drew four Bowmasters in the top half of their deck. Like, 
Oh, from the yard. Oh, oh, okay. That makes more sense. Okay, then my play is definitely bad. But what's my what's a better play? I don't have a better play. Uh, do I have a play that matters at all there then? Okay, yeah, they have flash. You're right. So I have like no counterplay to that. I guess if I didn't have a fetch land, but then they would just wasteland me, right? If if I had like drawn a forest, then I could eat. No, then they just cast in response anyways, right? So I can't. Yeah, it's all bad. You're. I. I am. I did overlook the fact that it came from the yard and it was flash though, so that was definitely wrong. Um. Okay. How do we board for this? All of our cards are good. So what do we? What do we do? I feel like these endurances are kind of bad. We can play claim and fury, and or we can play. I mean, Barrage is not really for this matchup. I mean, like, do we actually need more Null Rods? Do we actually want... I don't know. I would not bring in Cage here. That seems highly unnecessary and overboarding. I also don't think I want that many Vigors either, though. I don't know. All of our cards have, like, medium value. It's a little hard to see. Like, even Endurance isn't that bad. Like, it's a 3-4. Like, maybe we're just supposed to trim out on some of number of these fast mana cards, actually. And just, like, play more cards that matter. To see that being reasonable... Actually sounds kind of good. I have four vigor is too many vigor here though. So it's just like trim four spirit guides and play some more cards that interact. Seems better. It was a pretty tilting game. Because we did lock our opponent down, but we didn't like have the way to get over the top. Um, I'm not sure that it's, cor yeah, it's probably fine. Let's just jam a Magus here. I think the way we win the, the game, the previous game was resolving a Magus. Because then my opponent can't loop Bowmaster. They just have basic island in their opening hand. They have their one basic island in their opening hand. That's so sick. Maybe we're not going to 5-0 this league. <laughs> My opponent has had uh, had our number here. Maybe we'll draw the strip mine. That's a basic mountain. <laughs> this keeps happening. I keep wanting to strip mine my opponent, but I keep having a freaking Magus in play. <laughs> I I don't ever play Wasteland and Magus in the same deck. Whenever I have a Magus deck, I, I don't play Wasteland in it. So. Don't know that playing this Blood Moon is better than just holding that Spirit Guide, but... Ah, Spell Pierce. Got me. I guess it's better that that gets Spell Pierce than a Renin 6 or a Boo, right? Not that a Renin 6 is very good with a Magus in play either. Somehow, I feel like this is not going to do me anything and I'm going to die. But, I mean, they can't make black mana. So, as long as they don't draw the Jet or the Lotus, they can't ever cast anything that matters, right? Unless they play Dismember in their board, which they don't play Dismember. They play, like nonsense like the one black spell that kills white creatures instead of playing actual cards that matter oh they have a seal of removal oh and they played a sangha to the death nice maybe should have sealed before playing the saga oh and they have black lotus never mind i what am i, what am I why am i here <laughs> what am i doing here <laughs>
We would be so dead if my opponent just bounced the Magus and played a Saga. I guess we could draw a land, so maybe we wouldn't be dead. Uh, I'm gonna not attack. I guess I'm going to abrade the uh, Black Lotus. I can play a Bowmaster, but... Oh, I guess this means I just get bounced, right? I don't know. Whatever. What's their plan? I mean, we don't have other plays. Like, we just have to make our plays, right? The good news is our opponent made a, made a mistake with their Saga, and so that gives us a chance. I mean, they clearly have a Bowmaster. That's the only reason they would pause here, right? But, like, what do they, what do they, they, just, they should just cast it. I mean, I wasn't going to attack into this Bowmaster anyways, so... What does is, what is pinging the Magus do? Okay. They get an underground sea that's a mountain. They have two basic islands? Yo, what is going on? Who is this player? What a beast. They were ready for the red green blood moon matchup. Is there any Luris Saga list that have two basic islands? I don't think I've seen one. Is that a thing? Hope they don't have any more counters. Getting the spell pierce out of their hand was pretty good, though. This is not getting spell pierced anymore. What is this? Blue, blue. Dig through time? Sicko. What a sicko. Unreal. What a beast. They actually put the saga in their yard so they could dig through time. Ex expert level gaming. Isn't too I is it is it is it typically the tech for blue black? I haven't I I could be wrong. I'm definitely not mad. Clearly. Clearly. I thought they were like one island. Oh no, they are two islands. Okay. Duke is two island. If you're on white, you can only play zero islands. And if you're on blue black, you can play up, I guess two. Okay. So they're on two now. I think they were on one at one point, but maybe they went up on lands. 18 lands. Uh, I'd have to go back and look at like an old mog list. I could just be completely wrong though. That definitely has never happened before. Oh, these resolvers? We just got resolvers? I love resolvers. Uh... Yeah, the the old uh mogged lit oh that's a blue white list. Uh... Also sapphire. <laughs> just get bolt keyed <laughs> yeah you you got it opponent <laughs> okay sure yeah the old mog list used to play one island so two islands is relatively new it looks like they just added an 18th land that's a second island uh we, we were just not winning this match it's fine sometimes you can't win all right the 5-0 dream is dead but we have an initiative slash jewel gamer. Maybe we can collect or oof them. This hand does not do it for me. Let's mulligan that. Ugh. Ugh. If this was like, if I knew my opponent was going to play like bug or some nonsense, then like fair, fair deck, then I would probably keep this hand on the back of Renin Six. Like if they were on Luris, I'd probably keep this hand. But like, why why prince plays bug and why prince plays jewel and that's kind of it um and this the hand is just not beating that so i'm just gonna mulligan 
Uh, this is much better. Yeah, we're just going to slam a turn one Null Rod and hope it's good. I guess we might slam a turn one Oof. No, a Null Rod should be better. We should have to hope we draw a line on the next turn. If I play an Oof, they can like play a Solitude if they're mono white. They are underground sea. All right. Well, I'm wrong. I'm an idiot. <laughs> what can I say? <laughs> I've been bested in the arena of ideas here. Up upkeep ancestral. Sick. Sick. <laughs> We're so dead. <laughs> we are so dead. I made a calculated risk, and uh, that has not paid off. Are they, are they learning Doomsday? Is that what's happening? Must be. Oh, I got vigored? They're learning bug? Let me go back to my starting hand. No! <laughs> who told <laughs> a Black Lotus? <laughs> and Moxon. Classic bug. I, I could not have told... I could never have predicted this in a million years. They've currently been scammed by someone. Oh, and demonic, though. Okay, they're still, they're still Prince, though. <laughs> we are so dead. We got we got our no rod vigored. <laughs> uh, no, I would I would never I would never predict this to happen. But you know, learning new decks is good. So you gotta you gotta hand it to the opponent. Oh, okay. All right, all right. All right. We go next. We go next. We go next. We go next, we go next, we go next. It's okay, we've already beaten Bug once on the stream, and now that we know that it's Bug, uh, we can board bad cards again. <laughs> we can board out this Null Rod. I mean, maybe we should keep in Null Rod. It's really good against Bug if they draw their, <laughs> their Mox in every game, right? Um, all right, so we boarded in Nature's Claim and Fury, right? And then we were mad about the Barrage. Uh, but, like, what are we going to do, really? All right, perfect. Resubmit. <laughs> that was that was really bad. That that definitely shows like pretty heavily the difference between keeping a hand that's good versus one half of the field versus the other. Like my seven card hand would have been quite good. I mean, probably not good enough to beat Ancestral into Black Lotus, Demonic, Oko. It probably wouldn't have beaten that. <laughs> but like. The cards you need to beat Jewel, Mono White, etc. are very different than the cards you need to beat uh, Lurus Saga, Bug, those kind of decks. Um, yeah, that's probably a keep. Maybe, I mean, maybe it's not a keep. Like, our best hands are definitely turn one Ren and Six hands, but... I feel like basic, basic Blood Moon against our bug opponent is also pretty reasonable. Obviously, this Nature Claim is a dead card, but... Is it another turn one Ancestral? This has been a very high-powered league. I think the matches have been lots of Black Lotus as Ancestral. Like, jeez. Okay. I think this league has been kind of wild in that sense. Um, I mean, Oof is just so bad. We don't really have good bait cards either, so... I think we just make the play. Hope they don't have uh, Daze or Force. They have Force. Okay. I mean, it's pretty hard for the Red-Green Stompy deck to beat... Ancestral Recall, to be fair. We're just not going to be Ancestral Recall that many times. Is it just two Death Rites? I guess Death Rite plays through Blood Moon. That's kind of unfortunate. But it's okay to do. I mean, they only get two activations here. 
but like, they could have kept in Vigor, possibly. Who knows? We don't actually have that many Vigor targets. We have one Blood Moon and one Null Rod. Or, we don't have the Null Rod anymore, so it's just one Blood Moon. But who knows? Maybe they kept in Vigor anyways. They have three Mountains, and... I mean, maybe they use all the mana to play an Oko, and then we rev, we rev it. Black mana, though. That's not an Oko. Black and green mana? Demonic? Oh, Assassin's Trophy. Yeah, that's a good answer, I guess. Uh, I guess I'm going to basic Mountain. Now we can rev the Oko. Oh, just more Deathrite Shamans. Oh, at least I can block Deathrite Shamans with Collector Roof. A breed. Okay. I don't really have, like, significant card advantage engines like Bug does, but I have our Planeswalkers, and I have a lot more Planeswalkers than Bug. I have, like, seven... I have seven Planeswalkers. So, like, that's our... That's kind of our advantage in the grind here. I guess Fury is also pretty nice as well. Just, like, high-power anti creature card that bug doesn't usually have to face <sighs> green the four of a kind huh not the best uh death rate shaman seeing as it doesn't make mana <laughs> it will it will do a bunch of draining but mostly a little squire wasteland I don't actually know if Wastelanding a Bayou is good. I'm not really sure that it is. Like, should I hold this Wasteland, though? I guess I just play it and... I don't know. I mean, we only have two Furies in our deck. It's not like we have a lot of Furies. And we are getting drained for six total. I guess six total is not that big a deal. Like, they should just eat my Magus, gain two, eat the Forest, gain two, uh, take two. Oh, they have another Assassin's Trophy. I see. All right, well, now I have enough mana, so I might as well Wasteland their Black Saurus, I guess. I guess that doesn't help me because they just get to use the death rights twice. Okay, I don't know. Maybe that's not good. <laughs> I, don't... I, I do need, like, creatures, I guess, to block the death rights. They just attack for four. You got it. Pass. Okay. Can I have a Fury? A Magus of the Moon. That's actually quite good. It blocks everything, turns off these two traps. All right, okay, all right, we're cooking. They have a lot of Assassin's Trophies. Bet Wessel told him to play Assassin's Trophies. I do not like Assassin's Trophy. I think that card is very sus. But I, I also, like, have an undying hatred for bugs, so. It's just not, it's just not in me to, to play the bug. Oh, we're going in. Uh, yep. I still don't think I'm abrading one of these because I feel like I should be able to abrade an actual 2-2 two -two or something. I don't know. Wasteland. I wish we... I, uh, hmm. Sapphire makes blue mana. A little annoying, but I have a nature's claim I could use if I wanted to. It's not ideal. Uh-oh. Does this mean there's a, an Oko coming down? Sure looks like it. Any rebs? Any any rebs? No? Mental misstep? Yo, he's so good. Oh, it's so bad for me. The old mental misstep against my uh, two reb, one misstep deck. Not ideal. Not ideal. 
Red and six. I don't have anything left to buy. I guess what we're doing is we're attacking Oko. It feels bad, man. Oh, they're just going to take it. Rough. Not great, I must say. I do get the Nature's Claim there. Uh, target with the Oko, which is something. I mean, if they had stood up the Sapphire, then like I could have done. I mean, I have to. I have to go. I don't know. Yeah, maybe I have to wait. I don't know. It doesn't really help me very much. So. There's still a card left in their yard. I guess they have green and blue mana still. Is this a time walk? Is it a dig through time? Incredible. <laughs> yeah. I guess I could have killed the Sapphire, but... Feels like not a winning play. Oh, they drew Jet. Nice. <laughs> sure. Well, they can't. They can't time walk because they they have two tropical islands that are mountains. But it's okay. You just draw the mocks and then Magus doesn't really matter. <laughs> mm, things are bad for anyone keeping track at home. Things are quite bad. I do feel like these last two rounds have been on the higher end of the good variance scale for the opponents. If I had to if I had to put a, a marker down. But you need to be you need to be able to play against the high variance draws as well as the low variance draws. I can't say that we've had that many amazing draws, but our deck doesn't really suit us to have that many amazing draws. We did go for the uh, turn one boo at one point, so I guess we had one at least. I don't really know what my plan is. Draw Fury is probably very good. Draw Besiju, not the worst, but it's gonna, but not the not the best either. Uh, I mean, I'm going to attack your Oko. And then I'm going to ping your Oko. And I'm at least threat. I'm not threatening to kill the Oko. If they stand something up, I am threatening to kill the Oko. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> what a wild match. Uh, they're going to... Oh! Stand up death right shaman. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. I like it. They're thinking. You don't want to turn off your sapphire or your jet. Now what? Two attacks at Ren. Oh, just. Oh. Oh. Huh. I was going to abrade the, the elk, but now I could abrade the, the death rate shaman and kill the Oko. I'm going to five no. Five. Yeah, I think we got a high roll here. Let's see what happens. Time walk? <laughs> yeah, you're you're too good at this game. You're, you're, you're just too good at this game. Uh, I don't know. Like, what am I doing? Sure. Yeah, but like, I don't think that's good. Especially if they have a forest in their deck. Oh, they just get to drain me and I die. Okay. Yeah, whatever. I'm out. Like, I definitely could have played that ending section differently. It's definitely true. But I'm not sure that it mattered. Like, they kind of just had it. 
Okay, not bad though. Like this was this was a pretty good league. We went three and two with our red green deck. I think this this was actually a really good demonstration of why this style of deck can theoretically be good in vintage. Um, you got to see the power of Collector Oof uh, and Force of Vigor against Urza Saga combo deck. Um, we got to see the power of like casting creatures against Bug. <laughs> um, we got like manhandled by the last two round opponents, but our I, I like like I said, I do feel like our opponents had extremely strong draws, like multiple ancestral hands, multiple lotus hands, which is something that you, happens in vintage, obviously. Um, but you need to be able, you know, it's important to separate the games that are like just not winnable from the start and are are non games based on the power of you know drawing power um, from like the games where you actually have agency. Now, to be fair. Maybe we would have agency in those games where our opponent has power if we were playing a blue deck, right? So that's why I typically recommend people play Force of Will in Vintage. Um, but I mean, it's not like we didn't play Mental Misstep. We could have had a Mental Misstep in all of our opening hands where they had opening Ancestral, you know? Things can go always go better, so... Uh, but thanks to Sean for the donation deck list. This is actually a deck list that I've been meaning to play. Like, I have my own version of this. It's a little bit different, but it's basically the same idea. Because uh, I, I told Sean a lot of the changes that I would like to make anyways. Um, and I actually think that this is a pretty good example as well of why I, the Absorbent 3 style of deck in terms of red-green, red and six, and red-green, stompy can work. I just don't think like Absorbent 3's way of building it makes sense. Um, I would want my deck to be all of these four of, you know, of the best cards and, and try to consistently do a thing, um, rather than like having all the one of outs to different situations. One of outs to different situations works really well when you're playing a bunch of draw spells and ancestrals and blue cards. But when you're playing these red, green, stompy decks, I think it lends much better if you are playing four of, four of, four of, four of, of all the best cards and trying to do a very specific thing. The one problem with this deck, I think, is that the best play is turn one boo, and you don't really facilitate turn one boo because you don't have um, Ancient Tomb, but you can't really play an Ancient Tomb in your Ren and Six deck. So, like, that's kind of a big push and pull here. The other problem I really dislike in this deck is the Magus plus Wasteland issue. I don't know if that's really a solvable thing. You could, like, choose not to play Magus, uh, but I do think Magus has some power against the Saga metagame. The problem is Lorien Revealed for Basic Island is really good against Magus and kind of makes it not good anymore. So, like, there's a world where maybe we cut the five Magus and you play some other cards. I don't even know what those cards are because we really have hit the the end of the top end here. So, I'm not exactly sure what you would do. But um, we got to do some cool things in this uh, league, so that was pretty fun. If you're interested in seeing your deck list played on this channel, make sure to check out the Patreon link in the description below where you can find the information to submit a donation deck list. And if you want to see more content like this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, new vintage videos on this channel. I will see you then.